Roll it, roll it, roll it, light it. Pack your balls like your bras, light it. Pack your balls like your bras, light it. Pack your balls like your bras, light it. Hi guys, super excited here. This is like hip hop heaven for me right now. I'm here with Cypress. <laughs> so how are you guys sitting? We're good. We're good. You know, excited to do the show. I'm a fan from. Well, you've been guys at like what 20 years, 23 years of just nonstop hip hop and groundbreaking music and multi platinum and I mean for us Latinos especially like it's huge. It's huge what you guys did. The crossover. The now you guys are doing the dubstep and i feel like this is also groundbreaking you know this is something new right now coming out this is, can you explain the art of dubstep to you guys like what how is it to you guys for me it seems like it's it's a cross between you know hip-hop and, and electronic uh, as far as the drum program and it's got like a bounce like what you would hear in today's today's rap music it's all programmed at 70 BPMs to 140 you know what I mean and that's like a, a certain bounce and that's to me how how uh, that's the connection to, to, to rap music hip-hop and, and dubstep I think is the drum programming what they put over the beats as far as the sounds that's all I think obviously electronic based and I think that's what what brings the two together and I think that's why we may be related to it you know, just because it had that, that hip-hop sensibility to it. And for us Latinos right now, going back to the whole Latino thing, how do you guys feel about just the crossover with Latinos and how they are now and how they have, you know, how far we've came in the whole pop and hip-hop and, you know, the, the, the mixed cultures and explain to me how you guys feel about that. Well, um, you know, the, the whole Latino culture has come a lot, a long way, to, you know, in like the last 20 years, you know what I mean? Not just you know in music, but also in in, a, in movies and TV and acting, and also in you know in sports, of course. You know what I mean. So I mean, it's uh, it, it feels it feels cool to be able to say you know that we had some kind of contribution. You know what I mean to the you know people recognizing you know um, the, the Latinos for the, the talent that they have. You know what I mean, and you know and there's and there's still you know what I mean. Uh, uh, the the kids that are coming up behind us and all that stuff like and the style of music that they're coming up with I mean I mean just from like the whole reggaeton thing that was huge and it blew up and it became like a mainstay for a lot of you know good reasons and I think you know we have a lot to say a lot to prove and, and we have that chip on our shoulder like like look at us we're good <laughs> you know what I mean wow oh, like all jittery this EP, I mean, I'm loving it. The dubstep to me is like a mix of something huge that's been huge since back in the days. I mean, in hip hop, it's DJing, you know? So the fact that the DJ and the artists now have such a big connection, to me, this is like groundbreaking, again, to mention. So what's to come? Well, we're gonna be working on a new uh, a new album next year sometime with DJ Muggs and uh, you know, it's it's wherever he wants to go with it. You know, when he produces, it's you know we we follow the path of of what he's vibing on musically. I know he's been doing a lot of dubstep uh, type music. He's out, also been DJing a lot in 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 those type of arenas and whatnot. And uh, he's just a monster right now. But uh, to be honest, you know, we always go by the vibe. Once we get in the studio whatever our vibe is that's you know it takes us that way so we'll see what he's got you know uh hooked up in the lab once once we finish out this tour you know we're going to take some time to get back in the studio and start the process and you know knock out another banger nice another thing i love about you guys is the fact that when you guys came out back then it was like you were you were coming from you were coming with that west coast but it was like, are they New York? Wait, are they from Cypress Hills, Queens? Are they from, you know, you guys spoke about, I heard you guys talking about Kendrick Lamar and the fact that he still has that vibe. He has that vibe that you, explain that. You know, there, there's there's MCs on the West Coast that sound West Coast and they can't stop <laughs> sounding like they're from the West Coast. It's just something that, that that's, it's in them. that's in them. <laughs> But there are other rappers that, you know, can do that style as well as flip to like a style that East Coast cats can relate to. And, you know, we've always prided ourselves on being, you know, those type of guys. We didn't want to sound, 
you know, like like everybody else did. Because to us, everybody else at that time when we were coming out wanted to sound like whatever, you know, NWA or Dr. Dre and them were doing. And we wanted to be different, you know what I mean? And a lot of, a lot of MCs that, that thought the same way we did, you know, maybe they didn't get a look, but there was plenty of them out there. And you know that whole that whole style just evolved. People kept doing it, and and like trying to be lyrical with a with a different style than the more laid back, you know, West Coast gangster type of shit, you know. And uh, Kendrick Lamar, being one of those guys, he grew up in the hood and seen all that stuff, but his rap ain't really gangster rap. It's it's some lyrical thought out. You know, storytelling. storytelling. Like he's a well-rounded MC, and those are the type of guys that can do West Coast shit and then come over here to the East Coast, get with a producer, and knock some really tight shit out. You know, and and those are the type of rappers I like. You know, guys like that that can evolve beyond where they come from and and do some different shit. So I want to thank you guys for what you've done for hip hop and for Latinos. And I mean, now to hear the Latinos gonna. You know they're gonna start picking up the dubstep too. Yeah. So now it's gonna be it's gonna be everywhere now. <laughs> they, could, they could do the reggaeton dubstep in Spanish. Oh. Uh-huh. That's the next record, Chacho. I got it. I'm, I'm a producer for you. Great story. Great story. Right here, live. So thank you guys so much. This is Justina Love, Cypress Hills, blessed. Keep doing what you love, love what you do. Live, laugh, love is the only way to do it. Let's keep the positive energy flowing and the productivity growing, y'all. Never seen some in your dreams. Party machine like Charlie Sheen. We go hard, you know my team. Oh my God, we carving the scene. New sirens, so much steam. Part of my life is too obscene. On codeine, senses are keen. Close to the edge, cause I'm...